Norbert Bogwacha. Yetu 
mtoto amezaliwa nimepewa mtoto mwanaume na uwezo wa kifalme utakuwa begani mwake na ataitwa jina lake mshauri Mungu mwenye nguvu mshauri wa ajabu Mungu mwenye nguvu baba wa milele mfalme wa amani maongeo ya enzi yake na amani hayatakuwa na mwisho katika kiti cha enzi cha Daudi na ufalme wake kudhibitisha na kutengemeza tangu sasa hata milele amen
natokea katika kanisa la Ujumbe Free Methodist Church Dayton Ohio nitakariri katika kitabu cha hesabu 24 mstari wa 16 hadi 19 Asema yeye asikiae maneno ya Mungu na kuyajua maarifa yake aliyejua Yeye aunae maono ya Mwenyezi akianguka kifudi fudi amefunguliwa macho na muona lakini si sasa na mtazama lakini si karibu nyota itatokea katika Yakobo na fimbo ya enzi itanuka katika Israeli nayo itazipiga piga pembe zote za Moabu na kuwavunja vunja wana wote wa Gazia na Edomu itakuwa miliki siri pia itakuwa miliki waliokuwa adui zake Israeli watakapotenda kwa ushujaa mwenye kutawala atakuja toka Yakobo atawangamiza watakao baki mchini haleluya msaidizi wa watoto hawa kwa hiyo nilitamani kusema kusema kwamba watoto wetu tulijaribu njia yote kujaribu waseme Kiswahili lakini ilishirikana kwa hiyo watakwenda kuongea katika hii lugha ya ugeni ambayo tulikuta huko bwana Yesu asifiwe sana hiyo hapa ni kama sita dhaa kama unahitaji basi nitakwenda kuzigawa ili upate kwamba unafuata nini ambacho unachokwenda naongea bwana Yesu asifiwe and I come from Cleveland, Ohio, and my church name is Hope of Free Methodist Swahili Church. And I will be memorizing the book of Michael, chapter 5, verses 2 through 5. But you, Bethlehem Ebertha, though you are small among the clans of Judah, out of you will come for me, one who will be ruler over the Israel, over the lands of Israel, whose own has been born times. Therefore, Israel will be abandoned until the time when she, who is in labor, bears a son, and the rest of his lands will turn to run the Israelites. My name is Mary Roger and I'll be reading the book of Mika chapter 5 verses 2 through 5 and my church is Cleveland Hope Free Methodist Church. He will stand and shepherd his flocks in the strength of the Lord. In the majesty of the name of the Lord, his God will live securely until the greatness will reach until the end of the earth. And there will be peace when the Assyrians invade our land and march through our forces. The ways against those seven shepherds, even eight commanders, when it's us to be. Yes, <laughs> Tawi <laughs> 
walikuwa haki hata hukumu maskini na hata wahonya wenyekevu wa dunia kwa adili na hata ipiga dunia na samahani na hata ipiga dunia kwa fimbo kina chake na kwa pumzi ya midomo yake atawa wabaya tano na ndo mwisho na haki itakuwa mshipi wa vino vyake na waminifu mshipi wa kujifungia ame Machozi wa kilongo Natokea Nation Tango Kentucky Naimba Light Choir Nita Soma Matayo Moja Mistari wa kumi na nane Mpaka ishiri na tano Tuwanze Kuzaliwa kwa Yesu Kristo kulikuwa hivi Mariamu mama yake alipokuwa ameposwa na Yusufu kabla hawajakaribiana alionekana ana mimba kwa uweza wa Roho Mtakatifu Naye Yusufu mumewe kwa vile alivyokuwa mtu wa haki asitaki kumwaibisha aliazimu kumwacha kwa siri basi Alipokuwa akifikiri hayo, tazama malaika wa Bwana alimtokea katika ndoto akisema, Yusufu mwana wa Daudi, usiofu kumchukua Mariamu mkeo, maana mimba yake ni kwa uweza wa Roho Mtakatifu. Naye atazama mwana na nawe utamuita jina lake Yesu. Maana yeye ndiye atakayeokoa watu wake na zambi zao. Hayo yote yamekuwa ili litimie neno lilionenwa na Bwana kwa kwa ujumbe wa wa manabii akisema Tazama bikira atachukua mimba naye atazaa mwana nao watamuita jina lake Imanueli yani Mungu pamoja nasi Naye Yusufu alipoamka katika ndoto msamani katika usingizi alifanya kama kama vile malaika wa Bwana alivyomwagiza akamchukua mkewe asiyejua kamwe asiyejua kamwe alipomza Mwanawe akamuita jina lake Yesu.